Happy holidays, everyone. Welcome to a very special unboxing video. I mean, all unboxing videos are uh, special. Who am I kidding? Uh, but this one is holiday themed um, in the respect that uh, this is a uh, Christmas present to me. Um, so, so normally Christmas, you know, with my family is all about everyone else, about my daughter and uh, other relatives. Uh, it's not about buying me shit. Uh, but it seems like every year um, uh, my wife comes to me and says, treat yourself. And uh, so um, I did. And uh, what this is, uh, you saw the, you know, the title of the video, so you already know. But um, last year in 2020, the band Failure uh, released a uh, box set of, of their first three albums and extra shit um, on vinyl. And um, at the time, sometimes I'm a little bit, I, 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 it, it takes a little bit for me to pull the trigger for big purchases. And then things like this come and then they sell out because I don't act fast enough. And so it's been a thing where I keep looking on Discogs and go, one day somebody's gonna post one and it's gonna be like super expensive and then I'm just gonna have to fork over the money and get it. Uh, but I just kept putting it off. And so finally this year for Christmas, my, uh, my wife was like, hey, uh, what's the most expensive thing you wanna get on Discogs? And I was like, uh, this box set. And so, um, <laughs> I, I, you know, long story short, it's now in this box right here. And uh, apparently this is a an unwrapped, uh, no, not unwrapped. It is an unopened, as still wrapping on it, copy of this Failure box set. I'm not going to go into who Failure is as a band. They're a smaller band, uh, but they're a very important band to me. Um, I saw them at the uh, very first, like, real concert I ever went to, which was Tool back in 1994. And Failure was the opening band of that show. And um, ever since then, they have been a favorite band of mine, and they've been a very important band to me musically over the years. Um, and so I'm pretty excited to have this because the the records that are in here, uh, the three albums, the only real official vinyl version is of the first album, and it's a promo version. Um, there were versions that the label had put out that uh, were not necessarily authorized by the band and had some errors um, <laughs> on them. Um, and so finally the band got the master tapes and remixed them and remastered them and put out their own definitive versions of their first three albums. And so uh, I trust them. So I'm very excited about this. Let's, let's just open it up. I don't know why that has that number there, but whatever. All right, there you go. Failure, 1992 to 1996. Um, their la the last album in here is from 96, and then they split up and got back together in the 2000s. Um, look it up if you're interested. But uh, all right, well, I'm not going to open it, so uh, thanks for joining me. Psych, I'm just kidding. Come on, if anybody, if anybody knows me, uh, I laugh at those people that are like, I spent hundreds of dollars on a box that I'm never going to open it. And that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever fucking heard. So, yes, I'm going to open it. No, I'm not going to do that. But, you know, I am going to open it. Okay. Well, I like how I'll get the failure on the side. Okay, let's open this up. All right. So, first up. Oh, it's a, it's a booklet. Those are the those are the albums. Album one, two, and three. And then this is the collection of B-sides and whatnot. Same thing as the cover here. This has just got some stuff to read and some pictures. All right. That's going to be cool. That is going to be cool. All right. So, yeah. Nice, nice little booklet. I like that. All right. Album number one. Comfort, uh, produced by Steve Albini or recorded by Steve Albini. Um, but at this point, it's it's now been uh, remixed, remastered by Ken Andrews. And um, this is a fucking great album, people. I mean, if you're a Failure fan, I'd, if you're still watching this, you probably are. And so I don't need to tell you. 
But uh, let's take a look at it. The, the cover is uh, very good quality. So I'm, I'm happy there. I would hope that if the band was involved that this shit would be well done. Okay. So there you go. And this is a... Uh, is it maybe 180 gram? I can't really tell just by holding it, but it's pretty, it's pretty hefty. Um, just paper sleeves, which is uh, not great, but you know, nothing inside. Just a one disc version of Comfort. Uh, that, that one was from 1991. Awesome. All right. This is the big one for me. That's what she said. Uh, magnified from 1993 and um, this was the tour uh, they were on with Tool was uh, for this album and this is an album that I just loved so much ever since the first time I heard it and this was the one oh look we got a little bit of a little bit of damage at the top that seems like a modern vinyl thing that's just you buy any brand new modern vinyl chances are that or a ding corner has happened um, this one's a double, nothing on the inside here, but still, you know, aside from that, you know, it's just because it's thick, the thicker ones to fit two records instead of making it a gatefold um, usually ends up having something like that happen unless the records are shipped um, outside of the package, but it's, it's all in a box here. So split over onto two disc, you got the frog there. Um, once again, pretty, you know, good, good quality vinyl. It feels good. And this is the one, uh, the big one that I remember reading about. There was a, a, a vinyl version released, I think, by the original label. And on the original CD, there are these hidden tracks on the CD that actually play in negative seconds. And either the label didn't know that or they mastered it off of a CD and couldn't go backwards or whatever. Uh, but those tracks were missing. And uh, apparently that's not the case with the band version. So, um, uh, yeah, that's pretty exciting. And uh, on to album number three. Possibly their best known album. Um, Fantastic Planet, 1996. I remember, like, my first job was uh, working at Best Buy in the music department. And I remember that uh, we got a promo copy of this album in before it was ever supposed to come out. And I I really wanted to listen to it, but I remember my coworker was like, can I just take this home and listen to it? And I'll bring it back to you. And I'm like, yeah, sure. And uh, he never brought it back. So I had to wait like the additional few weeks until the album actually came out. Um, but when it came out, I was not disappointed. This is an amazing album. So like th this one is on a gatefold. This one, I think the band actually did a version of this a couple years ago already on vinyl. So this is probably the same thing. But uh, once again, pretty good quality. But like, but yeah, even, even in the gatefold, look at that. Look at that. That's, I swear, like I, I have so many records from the 80s and the early 90s. None of them have that. None of them. So I don't know what the problem is with modern... Uh, plants that put these things together, their quality control is kind of shitty. I don't know, but you know, other than that, it's good quality. But uh, this one, we got a little fold there. This one also split into two discs. There you go. Oh, it looks like there's different colors. This one has this, the more yellowish looking thing with a rocket on it. And then the other one appears to have the album cover yeah don't really need to look at it but you know it has it has the album cover guy okay cool so that's fantastic planet which is a fantastic album okay last but not least um, the uh, Outtakes and Oddities record, which I've heard a lot of these before because there was a, a release that uh, Failure put out called Golden. It may have been on CD. I, I only remember it digitally, but it had like a, a lot of these tracks um, on it. 
But uh, it's nice to have them on vinyl, of course. Once again, you know, black vinyl with just, you know, image from the cover. I'm not really like, it, it doesn't really matter to me if there's um, fancy colors or fancy labels or whatever. It doesn't really matter to me. At the end of the day, um, it's all about like when I, when I drop the needle on this, is it really noisy? Cause that's, that's all, all with modern vinyl. I'm just like, is it warped? Is the hole off center? Is it noisy? Um, I've heard good things about these pressings. So, um, maybe I'll, I'll put something in the comments of this video once I actually listen to them. But, um, I feel, I feel like these guys know what they're doing. I, I, I don't know. That being said, oh look, that one doesn't really have anything at the top. There you go. But that being said, yeah, there was some quality control issues here, but I don't know what you can really do about it these days. It's just like one of those things like, hey, do you, do you collect records? Do you uh, collect new records? Well, you're gonna have to deal with this problem. So there we go. So that's it. That is the uh, failure 1992 to 1996 box set. And that's really exciting. Like that, you know, I know that I, I've, shown a lot of, of box sets recently that have a whole lot of bells and whistles. Like, oh, here's here's some some picks and here's some uh, uh, backstage passes. and But they really weren't that kind of band. Sorry, or that kind I couldn't hear what you said. Sorry, could you say that again? No, I'm not talking to you. Jeez, technology. Um, anyway, so all I really wanted was to have these albums on vinyl because they're very special albums to me. And uh, now I do. And uh, on the back of it, we got this little guy. But uh, but that's it. That is the Failure 92 to 96 box set. Um, very, very happy to have this. Um, as usual, the little things with the quality of the covers and stuff, it doesn't really bother me that much, although I did spend a good amount of money on this, but um, I have a feeling if I had bought it brand new a year ago, that's probably also uh, what it would have been like. But um, yeah, so uh, those of you who actually watched this video and, and have stayed until now, uh, thank you. You're probably failure fans. Anyway, um, I found it really interesting that I tried to search online and see, has anybody done an unboxing of this? And I couldn't find one. So uh, here you go, the first one. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching, everyone. Um, I'm guessing, well, yeah, when this comes out, um, it'll be a few days until Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. Otherwise, happy holidays, whatever you... Uh, celebrate. Thank you for watching and I will see you all again very soon.